renowned faces in uh, journalism in the country. And that's it. Understanding the laws of wrestling, customers, they said, look, um, if the media understands it, the media will be able to tell other persons. Uh, um, Commissioner for Sports in River State, and yeah. of course, uh, Commissioner for Information. Mm -hmm. Also, everybody came out there. Uh, they said, look, the media has a very important role to play. And customers, I totally agree. In, it's not just about public publicizing. The media also has a function of educating. And that's what this was all about. I mean, certainly, the media is supposed to be the um, uh, um, uh, means through which people can get educa educated. Of course, you know that um, um, the all mark of journalism or broadcasting is three. Inform to inform, mm. to educate, educate, and of course to entertain. entertain. And that is what the media are trying to do. Now, you look at it critically, you understand the fact that um, most people just understand wrestling. Most, most people don't understand wrestling. Mm. So people see wrestling as the sort of the pro wrestling that you yeah. see where people beating each yeah. other. But then the Olympic wrestling mm. or the amateur wrestling is the one that picks points. You understand? They do not understand the essence of um, um, these rules. They don't even understand the rules guiding uh, um, some of some sports. Yeah. Exactly. You don't even, some of our uh, colleagues as well uh, do not know the rules. That's right. So I think that is the essence of this. Um, when someone is declared a winner, then someone is declared a winner. They just write it. They just write it. But you know what? Uh, for the Sports Writers Association of Nigeria, uh, this is a good you know, development because the local organizing committee, they're carrying the media uh, along. And of course, for River State, they're mm -hmm. saying we don't just want to host the wrestling championship. We want to assist the Nigeria Wrestling Federation to discover talent and put a continuity plan in place. Let's listen to the president of SWAN, Ono Sirawa, and of course, the commissioner for sports in River State, and they're talking. And when we come back, more updates on the wrestling championships. So, approving of this means that the LOC, the River State government, the Nigeria Wrestling Federation, you have acknowledged and understood that the media should play that promotional role and they should play it in a way that the international community will appreciate that Nigeria has competent, sound, educated and professional journalists in sports writing. For the wrestling, our, our own is to provide the enabling environment to make sure that um, the Nigeria Wrestling Foundation can um, pick or uh, select wrestlers from this. From, from the National Wrestling Championship we had last year, I'm sure they, they, they've been able to um, select some young, junior, and then cadet wrestlers that will take off from where they are now. So that's left for the Nigeria Wrestling Foundation, and I know they will do that. Um, my friend Daniel Gary has left a wonderful um, administrative structure there. So I'm very sure by the time um, these completions and championship is over, they will take it up from there and grow this sport to the next level. So that's it. Um, <laughs> Ona Sirau saying, uh, look, this is good. Uh, carrying journalists along, teaching them so they in turn can also uh, teach the people. And for the Commissioner for Sports in River State, Bomaya Yaye, uh, said it all. Now look, uh, customers, we don't just want to host a competition and everybody go. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. The talents we discover here, how can we work together with the Nigeria State Federation to keep that talent? And there? that is an objective for the River State government, of mm. course. Uh, Mr. AI actually said that um, in a speech and talking about the fact that the objective is to make sure that this talent, the grow, mm. it is not just about discovering talent, it's about nurturing those talents to maximize their potentials. And that is what they're trying to um, uh, um, liaise with the Nigeria Wrestling Federation That's to right. do. I think it's a good one for them. Good one, good initiative. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Agadir. Yes, we'll be distracted <laughs> tonight on the show. Go back to Morocco. It's now Nigeria 2. Equatorial Guinea won. Dario yeah. Joe with the goal. Um, yeah, tension. But after we spoke to Irene, I just... I'm, just, uh, I'm sure story. if we speak to Irene back, um, <laughs> Irene, Irene will be... Uh, the, know, that stadium will be shaking. Yeah, Everybody Irene, will be shouting. I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure Irene will be, uh, mm. you know, uh, less tense. <laughs> I, you know, look at the fact that um, no matter what happens, Nigeria has qualified yeah. for um, the next round. Dario Joe, tactical change from the coach. That's actually right. dropped Rabu Ali. 
for Dario during this game, but Rabi Ali came on to the map because Ifa Ifa is kind of injured. That Ifa Ifa has been disappointing for me, and um, you know maybe that's why there's a new um, synergy and uh, in the middle of the pack for Nigeria. They are plunging forward, and um, all their passes are going through. So good one for them. That's right. It's a good one for Team Nigeria, the Super Eagles, uh, leading Equatorial Guinea. Came back from a goal down, and now they lead. 2-1. It's all about the Africa Wrestling Championships. We're counting down to it. It will start on the 5th of February and run till the 12th in Portacot, River State. Daniel Igali is the president of the Nigerian Wrestling Federation. He has more updates for us. Let's listen to him. We're hoping to host uh, between 25 and 35 wrestling countries from Africa. It will definitely be an upgrade on the last African Championships where we had about 21 countries in Morocco. We will, as a country, be presenting the largest contingent ever by any African country. We will be presenting all 90 wrestlers. 90, 9-0. We will be competing for 90 gold medals. No African country has ever come close to that. This is the first time we'll be doing it. As we speak, we have about 180 athletes in camp spread over um, three states, River State, Bayelsa State, and Ondo State. And I must also make it very clear that uh, the LOC through the governor of River State is funding even the preparation of our athletes for these championships. <laughs> this competition will be very keenly contested. Egypt are the perennial superpowers in Greco-Roman wrestling. So you should be watching out for them in Greco-Roman, closely followed by Algeria. In freestyle wrestling again, Egypt are the number one ranked country in Africa. Uh, but we are going to give them a run for their money here because we are hosting it on home soil. That is in freestyle men. But in the female category, we are the kings or queens in African wrestling. And we are even going to add to we are probably even going to add to our supremacy because we have it here. If we can possibly win all the 10 gold medals at stake, that's what we'll be going for.